everybody. I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. And, uh, look, I have a great job. I get to play with cell phones, review them, test them out, make the videos, write about them, correspond with all of you guys and gals who watch the, the vids and send the emails and all that stuff. It's fun. But I see a lot of phones, you know. Cell phones are hot. There are a ton of them coming out all the time. And after a while, it gets to be... It's not bad, it's not real boring, but after a while you kind of feel like, yeah, I've seen this, I've seen this, I've seen this. Once in a while, a phone comes along that, you know, I get excited about all of them in terms of reviewing them and getting the info out to you, because, you know, different people like different stuff. But once in a while, a phone comes out that I personally get all geeked out about. And, uh, this is one of them. This is the Samsung Omnia, the uh, SGH i900. This is an unlocked GSM phone. It's not currently available on a U.S. carrier, but uh, my friends at Samsung, one in particular who doesn't like to be on camera, so I'm not going to say her name, but you know who you are. Thank you for getting us a review model, even though uh, this one's not a U.S. release yet. Lots of rumors flying around, and uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to see this on a U.S. carrier, maybe even before the end of 2008, but uh, I don't know. But I mean, just look at the side of the box here. Look at these specs. 5 megapixel camera, Wi-Fi, 3G, DIVX certified, I mean, you know, FM radio even. FM radio. No, for real. Samsung Omnia. I'm psyched about this. So I've got the Omnia. I have got my uh, AT&T 3G chip. Even though it says singular, it's AT&T now. I'm ready to roll. So we're going to unbox this, we're going to fire it up, and we're going to see if it really is the truly all-in-one phone that I'm so geeked out about, or, uh, you know, if I should just put it away and go watch the Olympics. I think there's some Team Hamble on tonight or something. All right, so a little glimpse into the fabulous life of being a tech journalist or blogger or whatever you want to call me. Um, when you get these review phones, not only do you get the phone, but you get this handy-dandy reviewer's kit. Um, so you open it up, and it gives you all the details of how, uh, well, can I open this? Well, I can't really show you all of what's in here. But you get this press release, you know, and it goes down what the phone's all about and everything, and uh, things you should look out for. And then you get the agreement that basically tells you this phone is not yours, and if you don't send it back to us by a certain date, we will come repossess everything you own and the rights to your firstborn child. Um, no, it's not quite that bad, but, you know, again, uh, I don't get to keep this, I just get to play with it for a while. So here it is, the Omnia. Uh, this is the real deal. It's sealed up, brand new, you know, this isn't any fake Samsung, it's not the, uh, you know, what was the, there's the Sony P1, and I got some email the other day from some company, and their website, all the phones were complete knockoffs of phones that already exist, so they had the P11 which looked exactly like the Sony Ericsson P1, but they call it the P11. Pretty funny. But this is not a knockoff. This is uh, the real deal. So real that I can't even open it. I'm going to open the phone up. The special fancy box. You buy a high-end phone, you get a fancy box. That's how it works. Here it is. The Omnia. Ooh! Um, 5 megapixel, autofocus, flash, full touch screen. Is that a giant scratch on the front, or is it a, uh, a protective cover? Ooh, this one might have a giant scratch on the front. That would be a drag. Although this looks like a cover. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Um, here's the back case. What else you get in the box? So this is a Windows Mobile smartphone. It has the, the Samsung TouchWiz UI on top of it. Kind of like those HTC phones that have, you know, their own user interface on top of uh, Windows Mobile. Similar thing. So there's your software and uh, some other information in there. And then you've got your earphones. Ooh, fancy earphones with the little uh, canal phone adapter and uh, a couple extra rubber tips for your earphones. And then it looks like these have a standard headphone jack. And then you've got a dongle. So Samsung proprietary on one end, and your stand, standard, uh, I think this is 3.5, but I always get confused, so I'll have to double check that. But I think this is standard 3.5, so you can plug that into your phone. And then you've got your world power adapter here, and this is not a U.S. phone, 
So uh, this is not a US power adapter, so I'm going to have to find me a US charger. Thankfully, I have one that'll work. Samsung proprietary to USB cable. Uh, the battery, obviously very important. And some eyeliner. No, this is a super fancy stylus. Look at this bad boy. It does look kind of like a... Uh, well, I don't really know what eyeliner tubes look like. I don't wear eyeliner. But it looks like a, some kind of a makeup something or other. But it's the... Uh, it's actually the stylus. So let's get the... Uh, battery and SIM card in here and see what the deal is if that's actually a screen protector if there's a scratch on there or what oh there we go see yeah I knew it was a screen protector they're not gonna send you a brand new phone with a scratch on it that's not gonna happen power it up I don't know if there's any charge in this battery there might not be we might need to go plug in Oh, here we go. Omnia! So while this is booting, quick little tour here. Uh, this is the optical mouse. Instead of a D-pad or a little joystick or whatever, it's actually a little optical mouse that you can sweep over with your thumb. I saw this in person uh, last week. A Samsung exec who I know had one. Pretty cool. Two soft keys, full touch screen. On the side, we've got uh, the lanyard, lanyard clip, dock, whatever you call it, and then uh, the headphone accessory adapter. I gotta set this up. Um, on the other side, a shortcut button, um, another looks like a soft key or a call hang-up. Not call hang-up, but it's a red, a red key, some kind of an application shortcut key, and then a rocker switch. And on the back. As we said before, and I'll take off the protective cover on here. Get this very fancy textured finish. 5 megapixel camera with flash. So I'm going to go through this setup, and then I'll be back. Alright, so I've got the initial setup going on the Omnia. And uh, here's the home screen. You can see the familiar Windows mobile layout, start menu, and your connections, and you know all that kind of stuff phone and main menu buttons and then on the side you've got the touch Wiz widget strip so you've got all of these different widgets that you can drag out and have running so there's a clock and we'll put that back and here's uh... well yeah there we go so that'll take you right to games so we'll go back and this will take me probably to the music player, right? Yep, and there's no music in there right now. So it's not going to play anything, but it'll take me to my music. Very cool. So you can kind of customize, you know, what do you want on the home screen, or you can just hide that whole business if you don't want it there. You can scroll up. There is a stylus included, but uh, I'm just going with the, uh, with the finger here, with the thumb, to see how well it works. No service, so uh, maybe my SIM card is bad. Maybe I need another SIM card. Um, and then check this out. It's got the accelerometer. So it fades in, comes back out. We'll do it the other way. Nice little, you know, everybody's got to come up with their own graphics now for the accelerometer. That's the, that's the business. Um, and then we've got the mobile, uh, or the optical mouse, rather, on the bottom, which I need to figure out how to work, how to get that set up, because I know they have different modes. Uh, so here's a photo viewer. So you can do little, you know, keep your photos there and just kind of flip through your your slideshow while you're waiting for your friend to show up. Kind of nice, you know, it's more and more like a computer all the time. Uh, if you're a Mac user, you know, these are kind of like dashboard widgets. Uh, what's it called in Vista? The sidebar, I think. Um, so, pretty fun stuff. And of course, you've got the whole Windows Mobile thing happening. And then you've got, you know, a nice little interface on here, uh, making it a little bit easier to use, more finger friendly. And, alright, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go figure out 
how to work this thing, including the optical mouse. And I'll come back.